There were two brothers named Charlie and Toby who lived together in a little village. Charlie was nice and warm. He loved to help people all the time. He answered nicely and gave to those in need. Toby was mean. He wasn't helpful to anyone. He was stingy and wanted to keep everything for himself. The brothers owned a farm together. They worked hard on the farm. However, soon the rain stopped falling, the land became dry, and the crops died one by one. Despite the fact that they didn't have much left, Charlie was still kind. He gave food to those who were in need, but Toby didn't. He kept all his food for himself. Soon enough, Charlie was out of food, and he asked his brother for some food. Really? said Toby. When you were playing Santa Claus and giving out all your food, I warned you. I am sorry, Charlie, but this food is mine and only mine, he said. And so Charlie went to the neighbours, and a few of them, who still had some food left, shared theirs with him. Within a few months, the town was out of food. Even Toby was also out of food. So the brothers decided to go to the forest to search for some food. They made adequate preparation, as it was going to take days before they returned. The next morning, they started their journey. A few hours into the journey, they heard a voice calling for help. When they looked closer, it was an old lady. Help me, she said. I was walking back from the woods when I lost my balance and fell down. I think I might have broken my hip, she said. Really, old lady, Toby said. Sorry. You have to wait for someone else to help you. We are going a long way to look for some food. We won't let you slow us down. But Toby, Charlie said, we need to help her. She is in a lot of pain. Toby looked at his brother, and suddenly he had a thought. He would let Charlie go back to the town with the old woman. That way, he could have a head start. And if he found any food, he would take it and hide it from Charlie. Well, Charlie, you can take her back and then you can join me tomorrow. As he watched his brother head back to the town, he chuckled to himself. Charlie carried the old lady all the way back to the town. His back hurt so much. By the time he got to her house, it was already dark. As he dropped her on her bed, he said to her, I will call the village doctor so he can come and see you. And suddenly, the room became cloudy and the old woman changed into a fairy. Charlie was amazed. Thank you for being so kind and helping me, she said. When you get home, there will be a big surprise waiting for you. So Charlie went back home, and when he got there, he was shocked. There was so much food in the barn, in his house, and all the way to the sidewalk. He was overjoyed. And so over the next few weeks, Charlie called the people in the village and shared some of his food with them. Meanwhile, Toby is still in the forest, searching for some food.